Back in 2007, the gaming world was hit with the insurmountable market failure that was Fury, a revitalized approach to MMO PvP without the grind of levels and punishing time requirements. It was a fantastic idea, but so poorly executed that I bet most of you don't even remember the game, let alone its compatibility issues with, yes, Windows Vista. The world of online battle arenas has exploded since that time, and we've recently seen strategy-oriented MOBAs take the games industry with ruthless advancement, creating a bandwagon that's sprung innumerable MOBA-like games, which then distill into the speak of just online competitive gaming where you can control one character. That is what MOBA has become to mean in a lot of these marketing materials. So that's a bit of a stretch, but not every action brawler has to be a MOBA like Dota or League. And today we're talking about an indie newcomer named Overpower, which yes, does use that MOBA-like branding. This game has us cautiously intrigued for its PVP arena roots and Overpower is inspired by Counter-Strike and Unreal Tournament, the foundation for its medieval fantasy match-based gameplay. Although not a fully accurate description, if we had to slap a genre on this game, it'd probably be third-person shooter. Gameplay mechanics have familial ties to the CS and UT series, and pacing, from what we've seen, feels familiar for Counter-Strike veterans. Combat heavily relies upon the generation of a complex and dynamic metagame spawned from the existence of 70 abilities, 4 classic RPG classes, and a strong dedication to skill-based combat. There is a persistent leveling and character progression mechanic that to some extent mirrors what you might find in a traditional fantasy RPG or MMO PvP arena, but the game is meant to be more of a fantasy styled medieval Team Fortress 2 meets Counter-Strike Fusion. So far, we think its gameplay trailers are promising in achieving that amalgam. For players who like the style of MMO PvP combat but don't want to fight back to the top of the server just to get there, this style of game offers a solid drop-in, drop-out playstyle similar to shooters and reminds us of Chivalry, or if anyone remembers the mod predating that, Age of Chivalry. The classes are selected at spawn, currently limited to warriors, ranges, mages, and assassins. Each class more or less does what the name would indicate. Warriors get physical with enraged melee weapons, rangers use snares, fire, ice, and vampiric arrows to kite enemies across the battlefield. Mages use damage shields, stasis effects, and evocation spells with area damage for field control and manipulation, and assassins sneak in and out of combat using their class-based ability to duck out when the battle gets too hot for their damage over time poisons and their immediate stuns. Each class is outfitted with four core abilities and two special abilities called gems which are earned and chosen between matches. Abilities can be mixed and matched with weapons and armor as characters progress, though class abilities remain immutable anchors for lively staples of engagement. As for the game modes, you can expect the usual assortment of deathmatch, team deathmatch, and equivalents for domination and capture the flag, which has been changed into something called, quote, critter capture. This last game mode is more or less base capturing of cuter versions of flags, but stealing critters from the opposing team will grant various buffs to the thieving team. Overpower isn't done yet and is currently running a Kickstarter campaign for $22,000, which is not a ton of money in the light of other campaigns out there. There's not much in the way of gameplay footage just yet, but from what we've seen so far, it's absolutely worth a look for the right player. But as always with Kickstarter games, and we emphasize this very strongly, we strongly urge our viewers to thoroughly research games before pre-purchase, and that's the same for AAA titles as it is for indie Kickstarter games. It's a good game to keep on the radar for sure, though. Check out the channel for additional games and hardware coverage, and as always, hit those links in the description if you'd like to support us directly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.